father gave me a huge loan of a million dollars. People think I don't like China. I love China. 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 We will make America great again. <laughs> I think she should be in jail for what she did with her email. Things are done with your enemy. This is bad. We're going to build the wall. What's up? It's me, Mewtwo Two One, back with another video. Today's video, we're gonna be discussing uh, the Nintendo Switch. Now, the Nintendo Switch has revolutionized the game, along with Wii U. And people seem to forget that the Switch is a next-generation console that pretty much beats the PS4 and Xbox One. Now, before I get attacked for stating my opinion, I would like to say one thing. This goes out to Switch. Here. Can you take the PS4 or Xbox One wherever you want to go? Comment down below your opinion. Now, today's video, we're going to be discussing a lot of things. We're going to be discussing. Discussing. We're going to be discussing how the Switch has revolutionized gaming along with how the Wii U did and how the Wii U played out. Now, if you're going to ask yourself, why am I talking about the Wii U? Well, I'm talking about the Wii U because the Wii U actually did a lot of things it wasn't supposed to do, which I'd say that in a good way. Now, I have been a PS4 gamer before. I have played PS4. I have had the PS4. Um, and to me, the PS4 was a great console. The graphics were perfect. Um, it was just a nice console to play. And that goes to say for the Wii U. The Wii U was a good console to play. I remember staying up till 6 in the morning trying to beat Super Mario 3D. So, guys, I'm going to stop moving around and set my camera. So guys, back to the Wii U topic. Well, the Wii U guys, um, the Wii U was a revolutionary console that was hated on during the, during 2011, 2012, and through today. The Wii U was hated due to the fact that it wasn't basically what gamers wanted. It was more of a child console, and that's what Nintendo goes for, basically. Now. The Wii U was never meant to compete with the PS4 and Xbox One. It was made to compete with the Xbox 360 and PS3. But although the Wii U managed to keep up with the PS4 and Xbox One. Now you guys might be asking yourself, why am I talking about the Wii U in the Switch video? Well, I'm talking about the Wii U because the Wii U plays a big part in the Switch. The, Wii, the Switch's design bases around the Wii U. So, when I see videos of people destroying Nintendo's, one of Nintendo's revolutionary consoles, it gets me a little bit upset. And I understand that it's their opinion, that's what they want to do. But at the end of the day, you're destroying a $400 console that you could have gave away to kids who actually wanted that rather than trying to gain views off of destruction. Now, I feel that it's very, that if you destroy a $400 console, it is very ignorant and small minded and I say this because the Wii U was just a perfect console to me. I have had a PS4 and the PS4 was a great perfect graphic. I mean not perfect but it was good. Um I enjoyed the Wii I mean the PS4 and the PS4 had a lot of good things on it. But at the end of the day Sony doesn't have a ma a massive and I'm not saying like where we're gonna draw the line here. I'm just saying that when people hate on Nintendo's console just for the purpose of gaining views on YouTube, the purpose of breaking your switch and then acting like it was broken when you had received it, it's, you're trying to gain views, and it's obvious, because no switch would have been broken when you had bought it. Secondly, the Joy-Con problems. Now, the Joy-Con problems, the thing is, with these Joy-Con straps right here. Now, what you're supposed to do is, obviously, for the people who don't know this, there is actually a plus or minus button. I don't know if you can see it. But it's because my camera lens is retarded. Anyways, guys, it's made to line up your switch. You don't put it on upside down, you put it on top side down. And I made that mistake, but it wasn't like I was trying to pull it off. And I've seen the video of people trying to pull it off. But you can, and I'm only, I'm in middle school and I'm telling grown adults how to work a Nintendo Switch, which is sad. So if you can see here, you obviously can't pull down from this direction. There's a, there's a little ledge there, you have to pull up. Now, I'm going to stop getting on top. Uh, basically, the Nintendo Switch has done a lot. It had a small release, just like the Wii U did, but the Wii U also blew our mind, along with the Switch. 
Now, just because it's not a game, game's out doesn't mean you can hate on it. Rather than we can just see that Nintendo's trying to do something different from a lot of consoles, you know. And I'm tired of seeing that the Switch is being hated on due to the fact that it doesn't have a PS4 logo on it or it doesn't say Xbox One. And that's the main part. Nintendo consoles have been targets of destruction and targets of just that's not a good console. And since it's it placed in that group, it's now normal, considered normal to talk about the Switch. Now the Switch does have cons, and I'm not gonna, you know, say pro Nintendo, but I'm also gonna say that the Switch does have cons, but the cons that are being pointed out are oftentimes fake. The sync problem, yes, there's a problem with that. The cramping in the hands, I can understand if you have big hands like me, yes, your hands are gonna get cramped. But making a base and false accusation based upon trying to gain views on YouTube about the Switch, it's just not cool and it's very, very whack to do that. You can't find a better reason to gain views. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, like. This is a very serious video. So, yeah, guys, uh, peace out. Have a nice day. Uh, I will be uploading.